Now the obvious next step is not to only model games or model machines, but why don't we just model all society, like all reality. Let's start with, with society, with you and me. Well, that sounds scary, doesn't it? Well, it already is happening. And we talked about that in a previous lecture. Check that out. For example, Amazon, the, the, the giant in the retail market, of course, has a digital twin of you and me and everybody who ever used it. And they also have a digital twin of the consumer behaviors of society and a digital twin of all the products and of all the logistical chain. They might own it or might not the, the, the delivery, but that doesn't matter. They have a digital twin of the deliverer who brings these products and of the storage truck that does something with, with, with the inventory. Now, they might or might not own actually the real world thing, but they own the digital twin. They own the knowledge of what's going on there. And there they create, while well, the digital twin actually works, lives on this platform, on this digital platform. And here then I have my data and I can do my machine learning and my computer simulations. So I do my empirical and my theoretical work. And that's not only how Amazon's work. We already went through this. You know, Airbnb doesn't really, doesn't own the beds, but it owns a digital twin of the, hotel industry, of the hospitality industry. Netflix doesn't necessarily own the content, but it owns the consumer watching habits. Uber doesn't own necessarily own the taxis, but it owns a digital twin of the taxis and the transportation industry. And there's many others. For example, we're starting to create digital twins of entire cities. Here in this publication, you can see, well, you have a digital twin of all the people, then of all the things, of all the networks, the transportation network, the water network, the canalization network, and you create a digital twin. It's a little bit like playing SimCity, just played by mayors, and by public officials. And you can see how you could, for example, optimize the city, for example, traffic flow. This is uh, here a simulation of Chicago, also equilibrated with real-time data, basically from cell phones. If a cell phone moves on a freeway, we assume there's a car around it. So that's how we model cars. This is a chemical attack in Los Angeles, which thankfully never has occurred, but we can simulate it. And we have a digital twin in case that would happen, what could and should we do? And this is a simulation here from the US military that have been long pioneering this idea of doing digital twins of their missions, also of the combat missions. And it doesn't stop here. We are creating a digital twin of all Earth. Here, for example, we create digital twins of different layers of our agricultural land. How much nitrates does it have? How much phosphorus? How many rocks does it have? And that's then used in order to algorithmify something like agriculture. Now, that all sounds a little bit futuristic, right? Like, oh, we're going there and we're living there and it already sounds a little, but, you know, it goes slowly but surely that we merge the virtual world and the physical world. And you see that just, even if you turn on your good old TV right now, and if you take the most popular sport on planet Earth, soccer, well, there is a digital twin of the goal and of the ball. And this digital twin is used to decide if there is a goal. And soccer for a long time didn't want to have anything to do with this video evidence and whatever, but even that, you know, you cannot stop it. American sports have been pioneering that in, in American football and in baseball and in basketball, but soccer was, but now you cannot. And that's basically here the evaluators that work with the digital twin of what's going on. And this, of course, doesn't stop. We put entire stadiums now into, call it the metaverse. We analyze different games and, and that's, it's part of the entertainment now to look at the data trace behind of what's happening in a sport, and that becomes part of our entertainment.